and welcome back to Children's Liturgy. Before we begin, let me give you another minute to gather the materials for today's activity. This week, you're going to need some paper, scissors, and anything that you can draw with. Are you ready? Set? Let's go! get everything? Fantastic! Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, shine a light on the path you have chosen for me, so I won't lose my way. Help me to hear your voice in the darkness. Amen. Have you ever set out on a journey and got lost? Do you remember how that felt? We use maps and GPS systems to plan a journey when we travel to a destination we have not visited before. In today's Gospel, Jesus confuses his disciples when he tells them that they already know the way to a place they've never been to. How can this be? Let us now prepare our hearts to listen to the Gospel. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. A reading from the Gospel of John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Don't let your hearts be worried and upset. You already believe in God. Believe in me too. There are many rooms in my father's house. I am going now to prepare a place for you. But I will come back, and I will take you to be with me where I am. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we don't even know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Anyone who wants to come to the Father must come through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember a few years ago, I went to New York City with a close friend of mine, and we had planned to visit the Nintendo store there. Though we did not immediately know at first we were lost, it took us a while to realize that we had no clue where this store was. The truth is, even though we had the directions to get to the store, my friend and I were lost in a city we were not familiar with. When we realized that we were lost, we got really scared. We just wanted to know the correct path to get to the store. After a few minutes of looking at our directions and asking for help, we finally found the store. We were so happy and relieved when we finally got there. The disciples of Jesus became scared and troubled when Jesus told them that he was preparing to return to his Father in heaven. But Jesus said, Do not be afraid or worried. Trust in me as you trust in God. Notice how Jesus does not want us to be troubled. How do we become content or not troubled? Simple. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. Jesus tells Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus explains that it is impossible to be found unless you go through Jesus. We become found when we trust our lives to Jesus. If we trust in Jesus, then we can have eternal life. God loves us. Jesus loves us. And they are one and the same. God sent Jesus to find and save us. This week we'll be making a path using some paper to find Jesus. First I made some arrows and then I cut them out. You can be as creative as you like. You don't have to use arrows, but you can use whatever shape you like. Secondly, I chose some qualities or actions that would help a person find Jesus. Write one quality or action on each arrow or shape. So I chose stuff like trust, helping others, um, 
praying, and love. Thirdly, if you have a prayer space in your home, use these arrows and shapes and make a path towards that space to help you remind you that Jesus is the way. Another fun way to do this activity is to play hopscotch. Using some sidewalk chalk, make a hopscotch board, and instead of writing numbers down, write some qualities and actions that would help a person find Jesus. Again, we would love to see your beautiful creations, and with your parents' help, you can. Share a picture of your creations and tag us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also email me. I'll leave all the information in the description below. This week, as a family, talk about this week's activity. What were some of the qualities or actions you chose? Before we go, let's end in prayer. Loving Father, as we follow the examples of Jesus, may each step along the way lead us closer to you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So just a quick announcement for next week's activity. You're going to need a small jar, a tea light candle, and material to decorate your jar, such as paint or stickers, whatever you choose. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have fun making and drawing paths towards Jesus. Don't forget to share them with me. See you next week. Stay safe and God bless. Bye. Woke up this morning feeling kind of blue. A little sad, but I know just what to do. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. I have learned that I can go to Jesus. He lifts me up whenever I need it. Whoa, oh. Situation keeps my spirits high, no matter what I'm facing.